Hi everyone, it's Vicky. Today I am sharing my contribution to the Five Days of Easter collaboration between Dear Julie Julie and Cora Brandon Creations. All their details are in the description box below and there's also the details of all the other people who are taking part in this. I believe there's 20 of us and we are from all around the world and you'll see that everybody's got a different take on using these digital principles. So in the previous video I showed you all the papers that we're going to use and this is my day one creation. So I have shown you that I made my cover and that's what I made and that. I made two the same. So I'll start with this one. The page that Cara had given us, I don't have one that's plain but it it was a very pastel color so what i've done is i've printed it onto a cream cardstock and that's made it blend very well with the vintage images that julie has given us i've also i'll show you i've done some tea dyeing so i've got some blank pages and then I've tea dyed any of the pages that were very pastel that I wanted to make it look a little bit more vintage. So some of them I didn't, but you can see some of them I did. And that is, I think, day five. And I've also done it on that cream cardstock. So you can see it, it just tones the pictures down a little bit. And that's what I've done. For all the papers so it's going to make it much easier for me to put things together so this first page i have made a pocket and i just want to get a piece of card so i can show you so it's a pocket here i can tuck something in and then i've got one two and three pockets there this one is a long pocket it goes all the way to there this one is a medium pocket and then this one is a short pocket. I didn't do anything to these. So these were from Julie. I've cut them out and I've inked them and I've just put them in the pockets. I need to think about what I'm gonna do with those. This one was from Julie. I have inked around the edge. I have glued on some tea dyed um, gingham paper from Cara and I've put a little eyelet. I've made a journaling card and I've sewn around it. I've used a little label and that's on that cream cardstock. This one was really fun. I have made an envelope using Cara's kit. Inside is some tea dyed paper that's blank. So Cara's envelope, I used it inside out. I tea dyed the paper. So I've got the tea dyed paper on the outside and the printing on the inside. I've used Julie's stamp and then I've used a little postmark and I've addressed it to Miss March, 7 Daffodil Lane, London. Because uh, daffodils are in season now and the month is March. So I thought that was really cute. So that is the front of my um, lip book. And then I've also punched holes here and put eyelets because I'd like to tie those down when I get further along in the book. So I haven't quite figured out how I'm going to do it yet, but that's the plan. And then I did another pocket page, exactly the same as the first one. Um, we've got a place here to tuck things. We've got a very long pocket here, a medium pocket and a small pocket. I've made a journaling card with Julie's picture and I've rounded the corners. I've used ink on the edges. So that I thought goes really well with Cara's kit. And then this is another little journaling card and it's got some paper. I've put some fabric there. I put that same fabric down the spines and it will get covered up. My ink, uh, my 
my glue was very wet and it has come through but it will get covered up by the other things I'm going to be adding so I'm not too concerned about it so that's day one I'm going to put the video of me doing all these things after this there won't be any talking so if you'd like to watch and see how I've done some of the things that's where you'll find it and don't forget to have a look in the description box at everybody else's creations and see what they've done with the papers as well. Thanks for watching and have a good day. Bye.
Come <laughs> on. 